Over the next week, we're going to be working with uh, conjunctions and compound sentences. So I want to take uh, a moment to make a brief video on what we're going to be discussing. Uh, the students have been given this packet uh, of information that you're going to see. So if at any point in time there's a question, you can always refer to this video and, and also refer to the study packet. Uh, if a child forgets the packet at, at school, you can still study and practice con conjunctions and compound sentences at home. So with that said, a conjunction is a word that is used to join words in a sentence. Uh, the examples we're going to use are and, but, and or. Now, here, follow, the following slides will show my examples. Uh, when there are two separate sentences with the same predicate, they can be combined using con a conjunction. So the predicate, again, is the action in the sentence, so looked. And also the subject is the same, Jill. So Jill looked at the thermometer, Jill looked at the barometer. In this case, we can use the conjunction and because she is doing the same thing. So if we look at what our, uh, what our sentence will be when they are combined, Jill looked at the thermometer and the barometer. It just makes a nicer sentence. Uh, complex sentences help um, help papers to become um, flow a little bit better and make them not seem so choppy. Next sentence, will you wear the red shirt? Will you wear the blue shirt? In this case, uh, we are questioning, we are, we, are, uh, we are joining two sentences using the conjunction or. So, will you wear the red shirt or the blue shirt? Notice we didn't put will you wear in again. We didn't say will you wear the red shirt or will you wear the blue shirt. It's not necessary because the subject is the same. And then finally, uh, if we are comparing, we can use the conjunction but. I like the orange iPad. I like the blue iPod. iPod. I like the blue iPod better. So we would use uh, but. I like the orange iPod but I like the blue iPod better. Uh, again, this is an example of comparing two things and showing which you like better. So hopefully this little explanation of uh, conjunctions and combining sentences was helpful. And uh, please look for more videos to come on different lessons that we'll be working on.